Hello everybody, uh, welcome to IHaveToHaveThat.com. I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, the product we have today and not just that, but the actual the importance of the, the need for it, the digital predometer. Um, you know we don't all really get as much exercise as we really should and uh, this is kind of a way of just adding in you know, an assurance that did I get the, the needed amount of, of exercise I need to get in today. Um, the Society for National Fitness and Exercise and all that good stuff they pretty much set the standard that we need to get about 10,000 steps in per day, which equals about five miles, and um, that's about uh, yeah, about five miles or so for the average person. Now, if you have an active job already, et cetera, then maybe you walk way beyond that, and you can factor that into what you need to exercise or what you don't have to do for the day or gauging on what you are able to um, eat for the day based upon how many steps you were able to take. Um, some crazy figures for you. For every, um, for every mile you walk, which is about every, um, you, you get about, uh, what, is, what did we figure that up to be? Uh, 200 calories, no, 100, 100 calories for every mile. 100 calories for every mile. So every 10,000 steps you take, you're burning about 500 calories. Now, if you just ensure that you do that every day, we, we figure that up to be 182,500 calories a year you're getting just by taking a few steps back and forth. Now, that works out to be... 52 pounds of fat per year you're burning off by doing that. Now, of course, that all depends on what you're eating every day. But um, if you just make sure you're getting that in every day, then your heart health is going to be better, your general fitness and conditioning is going to be better, and you're just going to feel better about yourself. Um, why keeping track of it on a pedometer is so, is so important, or some kind of tracking log, is it's not easy to count your steps. I don't really count all 10,000 of my steps every day. And this is just an easy way of doing it. So you just strap this thing to your, your belt or your pants or whatever, and you can pull your shirt over it. Not everybody has to know that you're walking around with a pedometer on. You know, Maybe you want to. Actually, I've actually heard of offices doing things called walking wars, where everybody wore a pedometer, and they just figured out over the week and the course, they figured out how many steps each person took, and then they gave a prize out or something at the end of the day for how many people they walked. So some simple little things is making sure, maybe use a smaller water bottle when you, or a water cup whenever you're running back and forth to the uh, water cooler to fill it up. Just things like that. I mean, just uh, little simple things that will make sure that you get your 10,000 steps in a day. You're burning off the amount of calories you need. You're getting, uh, you know, the cardiovascular thing that you need to get going. And um, um, that's about it. And one well, last thing, actually, they've actually been studies to show that w ensuring you get your 10,000 steps in a day is actually better for you than just walking straight for a, a 30 minutes a day. Now, I'm not taking away from anybody that does that already. That's great, but. They've actually shown that just by getting, making sure you get your 10,000 steps in, it's actually better for you than a brisk 30-minute walk every day. So anyways, um, you can get this one at IHaveToHaveThat.com for a fraction of retail, or you can pick one up anywhere else for a considerable amount more, or it's up to you. But I do highly suggest you pick one up these, uh, for yourself or for a friend or for the entire office, et cetera, and uh, give it a try. And uh, stay healthy. We went through it for a long time here at IHaveToHaveThat.com, and thanks again for coming along.